What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Butter TV Monday Night. Cheers to a new week. We're gonna get better. We're coming back in August. Shana, that is. We're gonna have a brand new courtyard, too. So tonight, we got a couple things going on. I had these two eggplants hanging around, so I think it was time to use them. So what am I gonna do? Boom, I'm gonna fry some first. I'm gonna slice it thin, bread it in panko, and deep fat fry it like we do at the restaurant. I happen to have a little bit of that tomato marmalade that we have at the restaurant. So we're gonna do a little, it's a little play on sweet and sour. I'll tell you how to make that, but um, let's get this thing going. And then I'm gonna make a pasta from Sicily. Pasta Norma. A little oil. So to save some time, I went ahead and brought up some eggplant cutlets. So I'm gonna, while I'm doing this pasta, I'm gonna do some of the cutlets too. So I'm gonna drop them in the fryer right now. And to be honest with you, this is my favorite kind of fryer to fry in, this little skillet. Controls the heat. It's got pretty big fry area and what have you. Boom. While that's going, I'm going to start up a little garlic. How's everybody doing out there? We doing all right? We getting through? We making do? In case you don't know, chain has been closed. What's up all my peeps out there? I see you Tammy. I see you Sandra. All my family. Joseph, I didn't know you were such a great actor. Anyway, yes, we are closed. That was hot. So pasta norm, we got our peeled and diced eggplant. Now a lot of times you can just Chop this eggplant with the skin on. I decided to take the skin off. And then you can deep fat fry this too. And then toss it. Makes for a really nice pasta as well. But we're going to go ahead and just saute this up. So that's just peeled and diced eggplant. Regular Italian purple eggplant. Crank this up. Then I'm going to salt this eggplant. Again, about an hour ago, I went ahead and did that. Laid them on some parchment paper, salted them. A lot of times I feel like the purple Italian eggplant could be a little bitter. So just kind of draw some of that bitterness out of them. And then, let's go. Some eggplant frying when we're starting our pasta norma. So this eggplant is frying hard. I'm gonna use spaghetti tonight because that's what we have on hand, right? I'm using the ingredients that we have on hand as a home chef, home cook, professional cook. I'm using stuff out of my cabin that I have it here. We're not trying to flaze this all up, right? We're not gonna glam it up. This is what we do. This is real life cooking right here, right now. Turn these babies on. I got the fryer at 350, right? that you want to fry them on. by my man Huda Hoodia from back in the day, 97. Now 
I normally don't break this, but I'm gonna do it tonight. Woo! like that. before we start adding the garlic. Because once we start adding the garlic, it's going to start to maybe brown a little bit, a little brown too much before we get the eggplant cooked. So I'm cooking the eggplant first. Season, salt and pepper. So in case you're wearing the pasta norma hats, eggplant, garlic, I have a little chili paste, the cento, staple here in the house. Not a little twist. I'm going to throw a little bit of sun-dried tomato in there. And I got a little bit of tomato sauce just to kind of round it about a little bit. And then I have some fresh oregano. Normally the cheese of choice would be a hard cheese and salty cheese with called ricotta salata. I don't have that. I'm going to use pecorino, my favorite cheese. It's going to be just fine. Get a little drain paper here, right? Now I know all my guests that are on right now, they've been to China, they probably had this dish. Unfortunately, I don't have the truffle cheese fondue to go with tonight, but we do have some of that delicious marmalade. And the marmalade is really easy to make. You guys wanna know how to make it? Nah. All right, I'll tell you. Season. The way we make our marmalade is we use regular old beef steak tomatoes. We use vinegar, red wine vinegar. We use basil. We use oregano. And we use a ton of sugar. And we cook all that down with a little bit of lemon zest in it. And we cook that down. Dice up the tomatoes nice. Regular old tomatoes. And let that go slow and low in a pot, and it takes about, we do a pretty big batch, but it takes hours, like two hours to kind of cook down. But if you had it, you know what we're talking about, right? Get some good color on this. Bust up your pasta, otherwise you'll get clumps. What I got going on right here? Too many things going on, you know what I mean? But 
boom. That's almost there. So once again, I've got some sun-dried tomatoes. I got the cento, the cento a little uh, chili spread. A little, a little dollop of uh, some nice tomato sauce and some fresh oregano. All these things you can buy at the store. Tonight's wine is brought to you by Fuego de Sisa. What's up, everybody? Sorry, I'm not a, a one-man show tonight. I don't know where my health is at tonight. But um, anyway, Sicilian wine, Fuego de Sisa, Ahara. It's a delicious Italian Syrah. Chin chin. All right, now this is nice and soft, this right here. Now I'm gonna add the garlic. He's gonna add a little of this chili paste. Uh, already julienne sun-dried tomatoes, store-bought. I even put a little of this delicious oil that this comes in. Right here. Nice fresh oregano, ripped off nice and chunky. You can add basil too, that wouldn't hurt it. Pepperoni here. COVID-19 hair too, that's right with that beard, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna dot it with this tomato sauce right here. Just a little bit. About a cup, about a cup. chicken tenders for the kids. So I'm gonna throw those in here with this batch too because this is gonna fill it up. Whammo. Pasta 
pizza, chicken tendies. Just like, just like normal people around here, you know what I mean? That's all we do is we eat like normal people. You know, everybody thinks us chefs, well, I shouldn't say us chefs, I should say me, or maybe chefs, all eat like fancy fancy every single night. Now there's some that do. Family of seven, we eat like normal people. Some of that pasta water in there too, you know. Hashtag that Butter TV. Hashtag that chain of Facebook page. Instagram us. Monday night, we're eating pasta Norman here. Catch you on the flip side.